Hi folks, Glenn here, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I want to show you how in Photoshop we can create highlights into our images. And what I mean by that is I love compositing, and when I'm creating composites, one of my favorite lighting setups is a three light setup, where we have a, a bit of fill light to the front, and then we're either side of our model, and just slightly behind, we have these long strip boxes that create this really nice and cool kind of highlight going down the either side of their body. Now, I tend to do that when in my final picture there's going to be a bright light source behind them, so then it gives the impression that the light is actually coming around and wrapping around their body. Sometimes, though, when I get the pictures back into Photoshop, I'll, I'll look at the highlights that are created in the studio and think that they, they could have maybe been a little bit bigger or have maybe missed parts of the model's body where I really would have liked to have highlights. So what I want to show you today using Photoshop is how we can actually make those highlights and put them in areas where they originally weren't, or just increase highlights that we did actually have, but we want to kind of tweak them just a little bit to make them just a little bit better. Okay, so here's a recent picture I put together from a cover shoot with professional fitness model Sean Stafford. Now this is a composite image where I originally photographed Sean in the studio against a white seamless background and the running track and the clouds and the bright light has all been added in later on. Now if we take a look at the out of camera image where all I've done at this stage is added some texture to Sean's skin, brought out the details in his eyes and given it a little bit of sharpening. The main thing I've done here is cut Sean out of his original background. So now if I turn off the background layer, we can see that Sean has this transparent area all around him. And I need to do that to be able to add in the highlights. So the next thing I'm going to do, now this is purely so that you can see the highlights that I'm putting in and how we do that. I'm just going to add in a blank layer and just fill it with black. Like I say, this is purely so that you can see the highlights really, really clearly. Now to add in these highlights, all I'm going to do is go to the layer containing the cutout of Sean and just to the right of where it says his layer name, which is cutout, I'm going to double click to bring up the layer style dialog box like so. And to add in the highlights, all I'm going to do is click on the words bevel and emboss. And straight away when I do that, you'll notice that we get this outline coming in from the right hand side of the picture. So this line now is hitting his bicep, his bicep area, the shoulder and tricep, a little bit under his arm here, and the bicep on the other side of his body. And this is all I need to use now to create that highlight. So I've got loads of options within this dialog box when I can start now to make the highlight look how I want it to look. So let's have a look at the size here. Let's bring up the size just a little bit. Something like that's about fine. Now I've got options where I can increase the depth, I can soften this highlight here. Now halfway down there's an area called shading with this little circular disc here with the word angle next to it. Now I can move the dial in here around the 360 degrees of this disc to kind of dictate where this supposed light source is coming from. So if I move it over to the left hand side, we can see that white highlight area if you like has moved to the other side of his body. And if I move it back over to the right hand side, it comes back over to the original starting point. Now two other things a bit further down, we've got highlight mode and shadow mode. Now we're only concerned with creating highlights within this tutorial. So where it says shadow mode, we have opacity. And I'm gonna take the opacity all the way down to zero. We don't even need to give shadows a thought because all we're thinking about now is highlights. So just to finish this off, I can bring the opacity down now of the highlights, something like that, and maybe just soften it just a little bit more and click OK. So we've now added in this kind of fake highlight, which at the moment is looking kind of okay, but there's only one major problem at the minute, because take a look at his hair when I turn this effect on and off. You see, the layer style has been applied to the whole of the cutout, and I only want it to be in certain areas, i.e. down the side of his body and under this bit here by his bicep and on the other bicep. So what I need to do is somehow remove the layer style from that area. To do that, I need to put the layer style up onto its own layer, and that's really, really easy to do. All I'm gonna do is just put my cursor over the words bevel and emboss, and then right click to bring up this drop down menu. Now, three quarters of the way down, we've got words called create layers. When I click on that, what Photoshop does for me is to put the layer style up on its own layer. Now that is really handy because now what I can do is I can add a black layer mask to hide the effect and then just get a white brush 
and painted 100% just down the side of his body, underneath the arm there, down that knee and on that bicep to bring the highlight in exactly where I want it to be, but not on the hair. Now that's great. Another thing I can do is, because it's on its own layer, it's completely editable. So if I click on the thumbnail containing the highlight, get something like my lasso tool and make a rough selection of the area containing the highlight down the side of his body, I can then go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur and add in just a small amount of blur. We'll go for something like 12. In fact, let's go just a little bit higher. No, we'll leave it at 12. Just something like that so that it helps that highlight to blend in naturally and fade off as it hits Sean's contour in within his body. So that, that really does add to the realism. So we'll click OK and I'll deselect to get rid of those marching ants. Now, what I don't like is this highlight coming in on the left, on the other side of the picture, on his, on his the left side of the picture with this bicep. It's just a little bit too harsh. So I'm just going to click on the layer mask. I'm going to get a black brush and at about 50% opacity, just going to put a little stroke down there just to reduce the amount of that highlight. So that's looking good. And then finally what I can do is I've got opacity now because it's on its own layer. I'll just lower the opacity just to blend it in just a little bit more till I'm really happy with how it's looking. So there we go. And of course I can make alterations to exactly where this highlight is by playing around with painting on the layer mask. But there you go, a very, very quick and easy way of adding in extra highlights or improving highlights that were already there. Now obviously it's always best if you can get those highlights, wait for it, in camera. But Photoshop's always there to help you out later on if you want to tweak the highlights that you managed to get or maybe even add highlights in that were never there in the first place. So there you go, a really quick and simple way of adding fake highlights using Photoshop. Now if you've got any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial that I've put together, feel free to email me at glynn at glynnjewis.com and be sure to check out my website as well which is www.glynnjewis.com. I'll see you next time.